Okay, now I wanna to talk to you about a crazy little technique called dry brush, and this one's kind of a difficult one to master. When you're using dry brush, you probably wanna use a smaller brush, and you wanna dip it in water and then put it in your color, but you don't wanna have that much water in your brush. It's gonna be more color than water. Uh, this is probably gonna be the only time that you wanna do that. And so basically what that means is that when you put the color on, that it's going to be very dry looking. You're probably gonna get these broken areas like this, and that is one of the um, telltale signs of a good dry brush. Um, some people like to use these for different types of textures. Um, you can use this for detailing and outlining some things, um, but that texture actually is something that most watercolor artists want in their work. They wanna see that part of it. So if you're doing an extreme dry brush though, um, and like I said, again, just a little bit of water just to get that to flow and a nice thin brush. And you can go over details. Now be careful with this though, because if you tried to do that on top of something that was already wet, so if I had um, a color that was already wet and I put that down, ooh, let's see all those colors in there. And then I tried to do dry brush on top of that, look what's gonna happen. So at this point, you can't do dry brush, it's actually going to bleed. And in some cases, you might want this to happen, but in most cases, you would want it to be more um, straight and even like this one is. So just be very careful. So this is dry brush, and this is bleeding.